Hello, positive tunnel visioners. It's been some time since I did a video. I've been very busy working on audio books. The books that I have written in the past and the information in there is really key. It's about entertainment, education, and just a lot of fun. So I decided that I'll put them up on YouTube. I put the Jester interview up on YouTube and it's a great story about these jesters and the kings and that every king needs a jester. And that's what keeps a kingdom intact. In your life, to get the results you want of a happy life, look at the king and the jester. They're two different people, but they're a relationship. The same thing is happening inside you. You're having a relationship with yourself. And what is that? Well, with the jester, it's the humor and the funny things and the jokes and the laughter and the enjoyment. And then over here is the king. And that is the seriousness, the planning, the understanding and reflecting, being in a powerful position in life. So there's two types of positions right there. But when they come together, it's a real good connection. And that can happen through you. And that can bring good results about. Because when you're going through life in a very fun way and enjoyment and not taking everything serious and really also putting in your efforts and being fun around everyone, then they want to come and be a part of your life. I'll give you an example. I was doing these videos daily and I enjoy doing videos and bringing out things, understandings and getting to know them myself, but also sharing them with you. And I was in this big meeting and I was just sitting there and they were talking about this contest that was going on for a walk around of a Honda Prologue. Well, two of them had done videos, but I hadn't done my video because I've really been enjoying just doing videos for you. And they really wanted me to do it. They were like, Russo, David, come on, you can do the video. And I had to think about this because did I really want to really put my efforts into that? And then I said to myself, why am I having this debate inside me? You know, it's something that you want and you're avoiding it. And that's when I made that decision, the king, but the jester of the fun, and I really did a fantastic walk around, if I might not say myself, self, myself. <laughs> it was just that everything flowed because I didn't take it as serious. And I just put my efforts in. I spent the day trying to figure out what I was going to talk about. And then I decided the different points, the key points that they wanted, and what I wanted to bring out. And it really went over well. And I even realized that even if I win this level and then you go to Las Vegas, that I would feel really good because I have competed in the past. I have done Toastmasters many times over. And one of the things that I want to share with you is that, and this is what Steve Jobs said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. A lot of times we're trying to look forward on how we can connect it when we don't have to. We have to just do what we enjoy to do besides anything that's our requirements and then let it unfold and then the connections will happen because looking backwards, you can connect the dots like all of my Toastmasters practice, my stand-up comedy when I was at Caroline's and all my book writing, you know, usage of words and comprehension. And that's the reason why I put up the books for the audios because 
Not only do I want to listen to it, but I thought it would be great for you to listen to it also. And that I'm sharing something, it's positive, and it's a win-win situation because as I'm learning or as I'm having fun in entertainment, I'm bringing it out to you too. And then what I wanted to mention is that I did that walk around and it went over well again. And there was other things that I had done in my other speech contest that I said, if I go to the next level, I can even bring those out. So now you're going to bring out all the good stuff that you have done in the past. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. You have a lot of things in the past that you've done. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Right? So that can bring out all the good stuff into your life. And what I've noticed also, something recently, is that when you start succeeding, people will even talk about you like, hey, what are you gonna do in Vegas? Or, or hey, famous David, they'll say something. And if you take in those thoughts, and then those will become your beliefs, and it's just your destiny, regardless of if you win or lose in life. You just go towards whatever your objective is. Because like they say, you don't change the goal, you just adjust as you go. You learn, you figure out, and then you apply it the next time. And then you do it again and again. And then before you know it, you're right where you wanna be. It's similar to like if someone said to you, hey, you need a haircut. And then you go, yeah, maybe I do need a haircut. And then you would go to the barber and get a haircut. Well, if someone's saying something good, like the guy that was over today, he was a handyman and he was fixing a fan. He was going to be putting up this mirror. And whenever they come over, I always want to help out too. Because, you know, even though it's their job, it's, it's something like of teamwork, I feel. And I was with him and then I went into another room and I was, you know, going over with my son on how to iron because he had to take a picture. And then I came back into the room where the guy was and, he, and working on it. And he said, you know, you're such a good father. And I said, and I didn't even realize that, you know, I was even that, you know, he was observing me. He said, because you were teaching your son how to iron. And that was so nice to hear from him. And now I could take that in. Yes, I'm such a good father and I can apply it more and I can give it more. But I was just doing it because I was being a father, not to win any award, not to get ahead in any way, but to do what I want to have in my life is my son succeed also. And that's what we have to do is do things in the moment and just go with it. Because when you do those moment by moment things, they add up. It's like a snowball effect. Because one day, it just goes and goes and goes. And that snowball is on a roll. If I might not say so myself, that's a little pun there. But I also wanted to mention to you, I even did an audio book called Brain Success. It was with motivational sayings and inspiration and pictures of brains. So with, with the, you know, cute picture. And I felt that that would be inspirational. So I put that out there also. And then all day today, and, and last night also, I was working on something. I was working on the Kung Fu Alien. I did that a long time ago. And I had done the Kung Fu Alien too. And I really got that with pictures. And it's up on Amazon. And it had uh, all these, you know, this whole storyline. And it was a continuation off of the Kung Fu Alien. Well, when I did the Kung Fu Alien, I, it was kind of a, a short. And then I expanded it. And now I'm going to get it revised and up on Amazon. But I'm going to put that one up as an audiobook. And it's such a fun adventure of this Kung Fu Alien. Also, what I did was this other book. And it's called Beyond the Illusions. And it's something like that. But it's a really good book. It's, it's not having the fears and letting go of those and also your doubts. And one of the things that was inside the book was the point about when someone else says it, it holds a lot of weight, you know, like a huge amount of weight. Whoa.
But when you say it to yourself, why isn't it holding as much weight? Who are you? Aren't you that person that succeeds and has success? Yes. So if I say that to you, you are a successful person. You go, yes, I am. Say it to yourself and accept that and let that hold weight. When I did all that public speaking in the past, and I was going to do it for the prologue of Honda, I said to myself, you know what? I am a professional. And when you're a professional, you start acting out of those ways. So whatever you're gonna do in life, be the professional. Yes, I'm the professional. And those things will come out of that way of thinking. And if you don't have those and you're not open to it, you won't realize that those are the things that open up the doors for you. Crank up your positivity. I came up with this saying, crank up your positivity, just by doing these videos. And I really am happy that I've done a lot of videos because a lot of things are coming out of it for myself, for my audience, for the people that I talk to. It's been great connecting with you. And I hope that this really has a big lasting impact for you. And what did we discuss? In conclusion, we talked about just doing that thing and how there's a serious side of us and there's a fun and enjoying side of us and that we have to bring those together so that we can do both of them in life. Lots of times we get tilted one way or the other and also doing things in the moment, just doing them because you can't look forward knowing what you have to do. You have to do those things and then those results can come. Like understanding that if I took public speaking in the past, it can come out in these videos. But I was just doing it back then. I didn't even have this access to an internet or to uh, YouTube and other things. And so many people have joined up on my Facebook that I'm at 5,000 uh, subscribe you know, followers or friends and I can't even get any more. And uh, you know, they, they max me out. I gotta look into that. But what I've been doing is the YouTube videos and I think I could go past the 5,000, past the million, past the billions. So you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel if you can't get in on my Facebook. It's kind of like one of those, uh, those nightclubs where they have the big bouncers outside and, and, and uh, you know, it's the, the red ropes and everybody's waiting on the line. Well, they're all waiting to go into my Facebook. <laughs> but you can get in on my YouTube. You're allowed. Come on in. Uh, I have lots of videos that I want to share with you that are very positive. And also check out a number of my books on Amazon by David Russo.